T5, how are you today? So, today I'm very, very hungry and I want to eat pasta. But I don't have pasta at home. So I called my uncle Nadio and I said, hello, do you have pasta there? And he said, no, but you can come and I'll teach you how to make pasta from the start. And that's what we are going to do, okay? We are going to my uncle's house and we are going to learn how to make pasta. Hi, uncle. How are you? No, I'm not driving yet. Yes. Oh, you can go to the supermarket. Okay. Yes, I understand. It's because of coronavirus. I can help you. Yes. Yes, I, I will go to the supermarket for you, okay? What do you need? eggs and flour okay i'll be there in a few moments okay in a few minutes okay bye bye small bowl to break the egg and 
put the egg inside the bowl to see if the egg is okay to use because sometimes the egg is spoiled, okay? So, you are going to put the egg here and we are going to open a small hole inside our pasta, our pasta, no, our flour. Now you is crazy sometimes, okay? So it's easier to open, okay? Look, this is pasta. 
and you made from start. Okay, so I really hope to see if you if you can do that with your parents. I really hope you can do this together. It's a very nice activity to do with your family, okay? I'm going to eat everything. Bye bye, K5! Mmm, it's very good. It's delicious. Emocionada de fazer essa receita, gente. Um momento tão importante para mim. Vanda, obrigada. Obrigada pela oportunidade. É. Oi, quem faz? Como é que vocês estão? Espero que vocês estejam muito bem. É, vocês fizeram um macarrão com a Teacher Nadia e os amigos dela, a irmã a gêmea, todos os, os personagens dela. É, espero que vocês tenham feito e tenham fica, tenha ficado delicioso. Agora, vocês precisam escrever a receita de, do macarrão. O que, que vocês usaram para fazer o macarrão? A gente vai... É, vocês vão receber aí uma folhinha com as orientações que a mamãe e o papai podem imprimir e vocês têm que é, escrever todos os ingredientes que vocês usaram para fazer o macarrão e no final vocês têm que fazer o modo de preparo então como é que vocês fizeram o que, que vocês colocaram primeiro é, mexeram, como é que ficou a massa, se deu tudo certo, se ficou gostoso depois vocês podem desenhar vocês comendo, quem que ajudou vocês a fazer, certo? Então primeiro vocês escrevam a receita e embaixo vocês colocam o modo de preparo, combinado? Hello K5! Are you doing your super super truth cards? Did you do lobo guará? I hope so. So now you're going to do a lobo guará using a sheet of paper. Okay? Let's let's start. Okay. So you need a sheet of white paper. Okay? But usually they are a rectangle. We will need a square, a real square, okay? So, how can I do a square using this? If I fold like this, making a triangle, like this, and I take this part off, I have, I will have a square, okay? So you can use a scissor or you just tear the paper. You can fold both of the sides. Use your fingernails to mark the folder and take this part off okay like this so now i have a square right so the first step is you have to fold the square get the opposite sides and put it together and you will have a triangle now, right? Triangle. You, you mark the mark, the fold. And then you are going to fold the triangle in the middle. So I'm going to put these two parts together. Use the table because I think it's going to be easier, okay? So, 
that's the third step fold in the middle okay then you open it again and put it like this and you have now you have a line here right can you see the line so you have to take this part to this one and put this side with this line like I'm going to do now look okay both of sides like this so now you have a square again right a square but it's open here so this part I'm going to fold in the middle and I'm going to have what again? A triangle. So now, can you see that this triangle, there is, there is a part of, that I can open in three and one that I can open in two. So I'm going to hold it like that. The part that I can open in three he, up here and this part, the other side, I'm going to fold. This is going to be the tail of our lobuara. Okay? This is the tail. All right? And now, here, I'm going to fold too, like this. look right I can fold both of the sides to be easier later okay so now I have a line here and here okay I'm going to open it following the line and now I have the ears and the face of Lobuguara. You just press and now look. The nose, the face, the ears and here the tail. Cute, it's ready. All right, now that you have Loguara, the other activity you are supposed to paint Loguara. You can use different kind of material. You can use uh, paint, you can use watercolor, if you have, you can use crayons. I'm going to use pencils, okay? Pencils. And it's good for you too if you can search Lobo Guara's picture or you can paint looking at the picture, okay? For your inspiration, all right? So let's do it. I'm going to, to make mine. And I want to see you, yours, when it's... Okay, look at my Lobo Guara here. 
Look. Can you see? I paint and it seems like Lobo Guara. Did you like it? It's cute. Good luck. Hi guys. Um, so I ate my pasta. It was very good. Oof. Now I was I was doing my super trumpho cards. So this week animal it's jacaré do papo amarelo. I already finished mine. Okay. Um, I hope you have your cards with you. And if you didn't do it, go ahead and do it. Okay. Because we are going to play together. And you can play at home too. Okay? Mwah. Bye bye. Hi, K5. Um, so, this is our last video from today. And uh, our last video is our challenge. Okay? So, I'm going to be very quick. And I hope you can do the challenge if you don't record i hope at least you are doing it at home and trying to do because it's a very fun challenge okay so for a start is our tongue twister look it's the last piece of paper i'm going to get it can you can as a canner can can i can <laughs> funny right i'm going to say it one more time can you can as a canner can can i can so it's right here, the sentence, you can, you can read and you can try to do, okay? Parents too. Now, our Trava Lingua. Trava Lingua. This week it's tough. Em rápido rapto, um rápido rato raptou três ratos sem deixar rastros. We use a lot of letra R, right? Em rápido rapto, um rápido rato raptou três ratos sem deixar rastros. So, the sentence is right here. Try to do, ok? Use the letter R. And our adivinha. Let's see the last piece of paper. O que é o que é? Pode passar na frente do sol sem fazer sombra. O que é? Do you know? I don't know. I have to think now. So, K5, if you want more challenges like this, you can um, send a message for us. Parents, if they like, you can tell us that we are going to continue with that, okay? So, bye-bye. Have a nice week. Miss you a lot.